hey guys this is not a video that I wanted to make okay in fact I thought about making this video a week ago and I decided not to because I just thought it was too too much too much for this channel too much for this brand and I, I just didn't want to do it and so today I've decided I have to I have to I can't keep going on without talking to you guys without keeping it real with you guys because that's really what this channel is that's what it's about so today i'm making a video regretfully called i'm being harassed and that's the actual truth this is not clickbait this is that's the truth so let me give you guys some backstory on what's going on so i sold my house and the buyer of the house I'm only assuming isn't happy with the house and and that's the, you know honestly that doesn't make me feel good at all I sold the buyer a fantastic house you guys saw how nice that house was it's beautiful it's a rock solid house it's it's a gorgeous house and regardless of whether right now they're happy with it or not and the truth is I don't know if the buyer is happy with it or not um, but I know that that person or whoever lives there is going to be happy for many, many years because the house is just phenomenal. It's such a nice house. Unfortunately, a relative of the buyer has decided to harass me continuously and not just me, but the business, the buyer, the buyer's relative who will remain nameless. I'm not going to mention the name has harassed me since we closed on the house this is two weeks ago now that this happened and i'm i've been continuously harassed over and over to the point where i had to contact the police and yes i will press charges i know you're watching this i will press charges against you if you continue to harass me and if you continue to harass my team that is not acceptable at all okay so let me give you guys a backstory for our viewers, for our fans. This is the realest of the real. The way things went was we had planned on a closing date. We pushed the closing date forward a week. So that gave me an extra week of time. And that's fine. It basically, I pushed back my plans. And that was on the buyer's request. The buyer asked, hey, can we move the closing date forward? A week and so you know I'm accommodating I no hassle at all you know whatever let's do it and uh, and that was fine and then last notice the buyer asked if we could move it back one day and that might seem like a little bit but it was so late when we did that and of course I did the same thing as, as before I was like yeah let's do it that's fine I can I can make that work well unfortunately I was wrong about that that moving back one day with such short notice really cut me short and I didn't see it at the time but come moving you guys saw when I was moving how exhausted I was that was because we were trying to get so much work done in such a short period of time and you know truth be told I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done that's the truth like I didn't leave the house in the condition that I intended to leave it in. That's 100% honest. Maybe it wasn't 100% perfect for the buyer. Okay, fine. I accept that. Doesn't warm my heart to think that um, that they had to walk into a house that was less than perfect condition. I understand that. Fine. But the buyer walked through the house. 30 minutes before we closed, then came to the closing meeting. It was me, the buyer, both of our realtors, and a notary. All five of us sat at a table. We all agreed that this was the right thing to do. We signed contracts. Everything was fine. Everything was copacetic. Most importantly, we signed contracts. Okay? They bought the house. Everything was fine. Okay. And then said relative has decided 
that that person is going to make it their mission to somehow destroy what we do or something. And what's really rotten about this is that you're not affecting me. You're affecting the jobs that we're creating in New Hampshire. And I'm speaking to you, person who's harassing trigger devils. You're affecting the jobs that we are creating in the state and the team. Not me. I don't, I mean, you can, you can't harass me. You shouldn't harass me, but that's not what I care about. I care about my team. I care about our customers who you're trying to affect. That's not okay. It really isn't. And I will press charges against you. I have no problem doing it. I've already contacted the police. Okay? That's how serious this is. I mean, if you were harassing just me, maybe it would go differently. But you're harassing my business. And that is completely different. You did not do business with Trigger Devils. You did business with me personally. And by the way, you didn't do business with me. The buyer did. The buyer did business with me who I've not heard from. Okay? The buyer, presumably for me, as far as I know, is perfectly fine. This is, like I said, a relative. It's not someone I actually did business with. It's totally inappropriate, totally uncalled for, but I want to, I want to bring to your attention our core values. One of them specifically, it's called use everything. And that's what we're doing right here. You're bringing some terrible negative energy, but it's fine. We'll use it to our advantage. I know this, this video is going to get views. I know it's going to get views. And that's thanks to you. Thank you for all your negative energy. I'm glad to turn it into something positive. I'll make a video exposing exactly what's going on. I have no problem being transparent with my audience. So we're going to get views. We're going to get more people talking about us. And it's all because you, the person who's harassing us, has decided to make it their mission to try to bring down this whole thing. You can't. You can't do it. And we're going to use any negative energy you bring to the situation to our advantage. Okay. By the way, keep commenting, whatever, dude, I'll just keep blocking you or our team, whoever's managing whatever accounts that you're deciding to try to harass. We'll just keep deleting your comments. We'll keep blocking your accounts. So keep creating the accounts. It's fine. As long as you keep doing it, you're only giving us more motivation and more energy to keep pushing trigger devils forward. Okay. By the way, just for the record, I am telling you to stop harassing me. I will press charges. Okay. That was a tough video to make guys. I didn't really want to make this video. Like I said, I had contemplated making this video one week ago and I decided against it. I thought the situation will settle. I really don't want to bring this sort of negativity to the table for you guys. It's not what this channel is generally about, but it's just continued and continued. And I, I've got to keep it real with you guys. I'm not perfect. Like I said, I, I didn't leave the house in the condition exactly that I wanted to. However, from a legal standpoint, everything's fine. Like I said, we sat at the table. We all agreed it's all signed under contracts. As far as I know, the buyer's happy. So everything really is good, but it's upsetting that we're getting harassed. That's what's most upsetting about all of this. Stop harassing me. People, if you want to show the person who's harassing me and the business, if you want to show them the power that we have, hit the like button right now. Okay, hit the like button and just show them how many people support this business and support what we're doing. Okay, just so that's very, very clear. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course. I'm sorry if you are new that you have to get introduced this sort of way. It's not the way I want to introduce you to our brand, uh, but I'm trying to keep it real with you guys. That's all I've got for you guys today. <laughs> Hopefully a better video tomorrow. T. Antonio out. <laughs>